Hi guys, welcome back to my channel at Sadia's Finances. My name is Sadia and I talk all things about money, especially my finances. So, end of March and I'm doing my clothes out uh, for my actual March expenses, income, etc. essentially. I personally think I've done okay this month. I've had a lot of expenses this month. A, few, a lot of them were planned. I, there was a few certain categories that I weren't expecting to spend in, but I'm um, luckily that I put money aside. I know for a fact that I have overspent in one of the categories, and that's the clothing one. But these things happened, and you know, I do give myself a leeway in my budget as well that if I overspend in one category, I can use some of the money from the other categories, which I shouldn't really do, but. That's the leeway that I've given myself, essentially. So yeah, I think I've done good this month. You know, I do wish that I could get paid nearly four grand a month and that would just really work well for my, my budget. Maybe in future I'll earn four grand a month, but who knows. I think I've done a good job this month, especially putting a good amount of money into my savings, sinking funds, investments. Hopefully that can continue, but we will see. Now... Do let me know in the comment section below to let me know how your budget was for this month. Do you, do you underspend, overspend? How did your savings and expenses go? Just leave a comment and I'll reply to you guys. Now let's get into the actual um, tracking of my income, savings, expenses for the month. So my salary for this month was £3,670.99p. I received an extra bonus. For side hustle, I actually made £200 and 71p, which I'm really pleased with because this is the highest I've made in a month. Hopefully it continues that way. From my sinking, kind of, uh, sinking funds, I actually used £100 for the home insurance. And from dividends, I actually earned £6.35. and p The reason why the budgeted um, dividend amount is zero is because I forgot to do it for my budget when at the beginning of the month. So... Yeah, I just forgot about that. I only realised towards the mid of March that I forgot to do it. So the total amount of income for the month was £3,978.05p. You can kind of ignore the £100, so it's actually £3,878.05p, essentially. But I needed the £100 to work because of the expense I had this month for the home insurance. For savings, I put in... £1,059.99p. and For sinking funds, it's £922. And for investments, it's £406.35p. So the total amount that I put into my savings, sinking funds and investments is £2,388.34p, which is a really good amount for me. And I think that's the highest amount that I put in to my savings, investments and sinking funds so far. And it's only March, which I'm really pleased with. Now let's get on to the expenses. Um, bear in mind, I've already pre-calculated all the actual costs. It's just easier for me to do it pre-hand rather than making you guys sort of bored with my calculations and stuff. <laughs> so for mortgage slash rent, I pay £100. For home insurance, it was actually £97.78. p. The £10 that was left over, I just stayed in the house insurance um, sinking fund. For mobile, it, it was actually £7. So well, I'd under budgeted this by one pound. The reason because at the beginning of the, the month I renewed my contract with three. I totally forgot about this. And it was and because I cited the additional benefits of the contract at the beginning of March, that's why it's costing me seven pounds this month. For household goods, good, it was actually seven pounds fifty. And for the furniture, this costs £163.98p. I won't be receiving this furniture until end of April, beginning of May. So it's going to be a long wait, unfortunately, but I'm sure it'll be worth it at the end. Fingers crossed, hopefully. So the total amount for the housing category I spent was three thousand, not £3,000, £376.26p. And Again, I've actually come under budget for this um, housing section, which is good to know. For groceries, I spent £193.90p. For dining out, I spent £59.04p. 
For takeaways, I spent £18.49p. So I would say it's been a low month in the food category as well, so I've come under budget in this, which is also good to see. So for clothing, this is the probably the category where I've probably over budgeted for. Not over budgeted, overspent for. So for clothing, I actually spent £123.20p. So I have gone over budget for clothing by £13.20p. For personal care, I spent £30.15p. So I actually spent £153.35p. So I've spent £3.35p above in this category. For petrol, I spent £93.76p. It is a high amount. Um, usually, I, before the fuel prices, so if we're thinking about 2021 prices, I usually spend about £50 to £60 a month and this is obviously much more higher. For subscriptions, I spent £5. Actually, I didn't do the total cost of this. So the actual... No, I've missed it. I've missed... There's me going over to the enter entertainment section when I haven't even finished the whole transportation category. So for public transport, I spent £13.57p. I've used a bit of the... Uh, the, some of the money from the public transport for the parking. I just thought it was just easier just to use the one wallet. So the actual total is £107.33p. So I have come under budget in this, which is good to know. So that if I was to overspend in the petrol category, which I was, was planning to, I would have had some money left over to use. So for subscriptions, I only have a small amount of cost of, of, on this. It's five pounds just for Netflix. For appointments, I actually so the total amount was five pounds as well for entertainment. For appointments, it was twenty three pounds and eighty p. For my petitions, it was actually why is my mouse not working properly today? It was thirty six pounds. And I think that was it. I don't think there was any more expenses for healthcare. And the total amount for that was £59.80. Nothing for loans. Yeah, I'm pretty sure there was nothing for loans. So now let's get into other. So £300 was spent on charity. Gifts was, I actually spent £253.50p. For unexpected purchases, I spent seventeen pounds and is it ninety five p? Yeah, ninety five p. And for ABBA, I spent thirty four pounds and eighty p. So for ABBA, I spent six hundred and six pounds and twenty five p. So this is the biggest category which has the most amount of expenses for the month. And then it was housing. So it's not been a bad month, so I've had quite a few expenses this month, but I'm pleased with the way that I budgeted. Well, sort of, I've had a few overspends, but that's fine. And the amount that I put into my savings and stuff. So the total amount of expenses for the month was £1,579.42p and, and the leftover money is £10.29p, which has probably gone into my little change box etc i'm just going to give you a quick overview of the expenses so you can just see the amount that i actually spent and you can see the category amount matches with what's in the um, actual income as well so it's been quite a lot of expenses for the month but i'm not being frugal i'm spending within my means as well So there you go. Uh, I was planning to have 17 no spend days. I didn't, unfortunately, didn't achieve that goal for this month. I've actually had 14 no spend days, which isn't bad, but haven't really achieved my goal for the month. So yeah, that's a March actual closeout done for the month. 
Um, if you guys have enjoyed this video, please do subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. Let me know in the comments below how your budget was for the month. And do you like the video as well? I'll speak to you guys shortly. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.